Verbs. Verbs, like nouns, are a very important part of our language. Anything a noun does is a verb. The verb is the action, and it tells what the noun is doing. There are two main types of verbs: be verbs and action verbs. Be verbs are verbs using different forms of to be. The forms are am, is, are, was, and were. Am, is, and are describe someone or something in the present or future. In other words, what they are doing now or will do later. I am leaving for school in an hour. Am is the verb. The snake is in the grass. Is is the verb. Tomorrow we are going on a field trip. Are is the verb. Am, is, and are are all be verbs. Was and were. Was or were describe someone or something in the past, or, in other words, something that they have already done. She was supposed to clean her room yesterday. Was is the verb. They were going to go swimming this morning, but it rained. Were is the verb. Action verbs. Action verbs are the verbs that show movement or action. For example, running, swimming, eating, sleeping are all examples of action verbs. Think of things that you like to do, and they will be action verbs. Look at these three people. What action verbs are they doing? What is the boy doing? That's right. He's jump roping. Jump is an action verb. What is the little girl doing? That's right. She's reading. Read is an action verb. What is the other girl doing? That's right. She's driving. Drive is also an action verb. Notice with action verbs, you can see someone or something doing the action. Action verbs have different tenses to show past, what happened before, present, what's happening now, and future, what will happen later. When we are talking about an action that happened before or in the past, we will usually add ed to the end of the verb. Walk turns into walked. We walked to school yesterday. Brush turns into brushed. I brushed my teeth this morning. Adding ed to the end of a verb shows actions that happened in the past. When we are talking about an action that is happening now or in the present, we add s or add ing to the end of the verb. For example, swing. If you add ing to the end of the word, you get the action verb swinging. He is swinging on the tire swing. Another way of showing action verbs that are happening now is by putting an s at the end of the word. For example, if you add an s to the word swing, it becomes swings. He swings on the tire. Let's try another word. If we add ing to the word look, it becomes looking. Tom is looking for his crayons. If we add an s to the word look, it becomes looks. Tom looks for his crayons. All of these examples are examples of action verbs that are happening now. When we are talking about an action that will happen later. Or in the future, we add will before the verb. For example, tomorrow Sue will ride her bike. Keith will bring your book back next week. 
and the band will walk in the parade in June. By adding the word will before the action verb, we show that the action will happen later in the future.